Behold, he is coming. That's what it says again and again in the book of Revelation. He is coming. And we're going to be talking about that on Sunday. The coming of the Lord. And are we living in anticipation of his return? Because if someone's coming, then we, we need to be prepared. And so I just want to encourage you with a word of encouragement. The Bible says in Hebrews 3, it's 12, it is encourage one another day after day, as long as it is still called today, lest any one of you be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. So here's my shot today to, to encourage you, is to let you know that we're excited to provide these messages every Sunday, both in person, live, and also live stream. It's, it's neat that with live stream now that we can reach out and for people who are shut in and ha are not able because of significant health issues to attend church, that they can still get the feeding, that they can still get the encouragement of the singing. But anybody that's watched our great live feed still knows live feed is not live or not the same as live. How's that? And so I just want to encourage you to think about that because sometimes it's easier for a person just to say, you know, I, I'm getting it online, which is good, but is it great? Because live stream is not live. And there's something that God does when we get together uniquely relationally, spiritually, that I don't think happens in the same way when we're at home. And so I want to encourage you to be here live if you can. If you got serious issues that are holding you back, that's fine. We're, we're glad to get the live stream out. But for some of you, I just want to challenge you. Maybe maybe I'm poking the bear here this this afternoon, but, but the idea that um, it may not be my physical health that's holding me back. It might be my fears. It, it might be my priorities. It, it might be my lack of discipline. I'm more comfortable with my pajamas then maybe I should be on Sunday morning. I, I don't know what's holding you back, but I know this. There's two people, at least two people, that I'm aware of that are not going to be encouraged the way God intends for them to be encouraged if you're not here for the live service. Really? I, one of those is that person that God intends for you to talk to. He's gifted you, he's called you, he's wired you to be able to connect with somebody. And it may just be a simple hello, it may be a taking a moment to pray with them, but that's really hard to do in your pajamas from home. Now, now those of you who are shut in can still do it, but it takes extra effort, okay? But if you're here, you can just walk across the aisle and encourage somebody. And there are people who may not come to services if they know you're not coming. So I want you to think about that. Am I holding someone back from the encouragement they could be getting because I'm not choosing to be there? And then the other person that is not going to be encouraged the way they could be if they're not, if you're not here, is you. Yeah, that, that you won't receive the same level of impact at home that you will receive here. That sitting here while we pray together or praying with someone else, singing the songs together with the rest of the congregation, hearing the Spirit speak to you as I teach or as the devotional leader teaches is different live in his live stream and you know it and so i just want to encourage you to say hey you could be more thoroughly encouraged if you chose to be here so if you can come last week we had the largest attendance we've had 
since COVID started. So it was great. We were back to pre-COVID attendance issues. And God's bringing new people. But I want you to know, you belong, you're needed, you can be an encouragement, and we hope also that you will be encouraged because Sunday we're talking again about the most encouraging thing we could possibly consider, and that is, is that Jesus is coming. I hope to see you.